Hi, my name's Peter and I have no idea what I'm doing with this tattoo kit that I just got from my Reddit secret Santa. I do, however, have this honeydew melon, the product of Guatemala, purchased from my local grocery store. And uh, maybe I can try and practice and just see what happens if I even figure out how this tattoo kit works and ink this little puppy up. Looks like there's almost some, uh, like some eczema or something on it here. Very realistic. I'm sure that could happen in real life on a human, so it's no problem. All right, let's do it. So I began assembling it as best I could, as best as I knew how. I have had a very similar kit to this that I bought some years ago uh, for about $50 off Amazon. And I was brave enough, the first thing I did with it that time was I I tattooed a little triangle on my finger. It's like the first thing I did. I didn't even experiment with the little practice skin or anything. I just went straight to the finger. Maybe I was much more ballsy that time. I don't know. But the point is, right after I did that, I moved and lost the tattoo kit. Maybe on purpose. You know how it is when you move and you kind of weed out a few things you think you don't really need. Apparently, I thought I didn't need a $50 tattoo kit. I haven't really looked this one up to see if it's much nicer or not, but I think it's probably around there, somewhere in that price range. If the quality of these gloves are any indication, uh, I feel like they're maybe a little bit dry rotted. Basically what I want to say here in this video and make known is, uh, I really don't know anything about t tattooing all the time. Maybe this video will um, silence some people uh, who constantly, all the time, I mean, I know it comes from a good place, who all the time it's just like, Peter, they either say this, that you should design tattoos, Peter, or you should be a tattoo artist. And uh, I think it's just, I don't know anything about tattoos, and I think none of those people who say that to me, I don't think hardly any of them, they probably know less about tattoos than I do, except that they look cool, and I think that comes from a cool place saying they're like, hey, your drawings will look cool on a person, right? Maybe, I don't know. Um, that's cool, and I agree, it'd be sweet. But I quickly learned here when I started with this little tattoo gun, uh, like I didn't know if I had it. I, I learned that it's really not as easy, right? You can't just be good at drawing and then suddenly just, just be good at tattooing too, right? It's a completely different thing. There's lines on your body, lines on the paper. It, maybe the end result looks similar. Uh, but it, you, you, you arrive at that destination in a very different way. I couldn't, I wasn't even sure if I had this thing set up right, you know? And, and I, I, I was having all these problems, like, the, I, would, I would move my hand in a straight line. What I thought should result in a straight line, but sometimes the needle, you know, would wander all over the place. Sometimes the ink wouldn't last very long. Sometimes the ink would last forever. Uh, I don't know, and all these things, I'm sitting there wondering, like, is it something I'm doing wrong? Is it something I'll get better at as I keep doing it? Is it, is it something I've, have I set up the little tattoo? It, should I call it a tattoo gun or a tattoo machine, do you think? Tattoo machine, I'll call it. Because that maybe that encompasses the whole setup instead of just the thing I'm holding in my hand. Um, you know, and I'm wondering, should I turn this knob a little bit that way? Tighten up this rubber band? Oh, you know, another rubber band, you know, tighten up this bolt? Turn this that way, you know? I think I even had the, uh, there's like this, you know, the wires you plug in. There's like a red one and a black one. I think I even had that backwards at first. It worked, it seemed to work both ways, but it worked much better with the red one on top, I think, and the black one on the bottom. I'm not sure. Anyways, so all these things I'm sitting there wondering, like, did I do it wrong? Did I do it right? Uh, is it totally set up wrong? Or am I just, is it just one of those things you have to do it, put in the time, put in the hours, and you get better at it? Because... I, like I said, like, I don't know, I definitely found myself, uh, my line quality was atrocious right at the beginning, right? It was just bad, like I didn't even know how to hold my hand. First of all, my hand got tired so fast, because you can't rest the tip of the, like when you draw, you can rest the tip of the pen down on the paper, just a little bit, depending on the pen you're using. But here you've kind of got to hover over the surface of what you're tattooing, and it has to be at this perfect height, I guess maybe depending on what you're doing. And uh, I guess near the end of this, I, I feel like I was really getting accustomed to what that perfect height was, just to get the you know the needle it kind of oscillates and actuates, it goes in and out really fast, and so you want it to just go in and out. You don't want it to go too deep, 
you know, if you're moving the needle along and it's going in and out, but you're just, sometimes you just kind of dig a ditch, I don't know. So you got to get that right, and there's just so many variables, and I couldn't tell what any of them were half the time. So what I'm trying to say is, bottom line, it's complicated. It's complicated. Shout out to all the tattoo artists out there doing amazing things with tattoos, and Thank you to everyone ever that, that everyone said it. I can't even talk that. That ever said I should be a tattoo or tattoo artist. I think it'd be pretty cool, but I definitely would want to get like a, an apprenticeship, right? Get someone to show me how to do it right. I don't. I don't really want to be involved in that sort of, you know, like the kitchen tattoos. People getting weird, crappy tattoos stuck on them, getting infections and stuff like that. I don't know. You know, my gloves are falling apart here. You go to a tattoo, real tattoo parlor. They've got it all set up right. They've got it set up good. They've got like bags on everything, everything covered in plastic. There are nice, strict health codes. And I don't know. I think it's good. I wouldn't want, you know, anyone getting infected and hurt for the sake of art. I mean, unless that's part of the art to you, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really in it for that. Anyways. And, and, and when people ask me to draw things and design tattoos for them, they want get, to get tattooed. If you're not a tattoo artist, and if you haven't tattooed things, I feel like you don't know, right? Doesn't necessarily what kind of drawings will make a good tattoo, what kind of line density, what thicknesses of lines, what kind of colors and stuff like that might translate into a good tattoo. You know, some things, some sort of, if you have too many tiny lines close to each other, maybe it'll blur, bleed over time. I don't know. Like I said, I, I'm just not into that scene. I don't know much about it. But this, uh, it was fun. I most I feel like most of what I know about tattooing I just know from TV or movies, maybe YouTube I don't know, uh, but I did wipe off the uh, the melon every now and then because you know you get like sometimes it looks like your lines are very thick and messy but then it, that's just really like some ink on top and then you wipe it off and it's a nice crisp line underneath. I don't know what they use in tattoo parlors but I all I had on hand for me was Clor Clorox wipes, which I think is probably not ideal for human skin to be wiped with over and over again. Maybe a little bit harsh. Uh, don't they also put like petroleum jelly on you or something? I'm not sure. It'd be cool to find out more. I mean, I'm not against me personally. I mean, I feel like I could get more tattoos. That's just, I can't really think of anything I've never really seen anything like, yeah, I want that tattooed, you know, it's just, I'm not against it, I'm just not really for it, I'm just kind of floundering about in the middle, <sighs> totally undecided, so, I don't know, I, it just hasn't happened, that's all. I think tattoos are cool though. Eh, whatever. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody, I had fun with this one, thanks to my Reddit secret Santa for sending this tattoo kit. It's a fun little medium. Um, look, I don't know. I just made a lot of mistakes in this drawing just by accident, just because I couldn't hold my hand steady or my hand was cramping up or because the needle was doing weird things I didn't feel like I could control, right? And I'm fine with that. I'm used to it. I'm okay with what old Bob would call happy little accidents in pretty much any medium of art I work with, this one included. But I feel like that would be a little bit different um, a little bit less flexible, more frowned upon uh, if you're sitting there tattooing someone at a tattoo parlor and you're just like, you, just, you know, you accidentally draw some random line off across somebody's, you know, arm or something. You're like, ah, no, don't worry. It's just a happy little accident. Bob, Bob Ross would want you to be okay with it. But I don't know. You, you, there are whole internet websites, you know, dedicated to horrible tattoos. Where do all those come from? Do those come from tattoo parlors? Is there any accountability for uh, that, you know, tattoo artists? Do the people who get those bad tattoos lie to themselves just because it's such an awful mistake? You know, they go in, do you pay before or after tattoo? I don't know. And they get this awful tattoo, and they, they see it on their arm, and they know it's there forever, and they're just like... That really your only choice is to tell yourself it's amazing. 
it's awful to have a bad tattoo like that on you. I don't know. All right, so that was a pretty good first experience with tattooing. Uh, as I said, I have previously had a similar tattoo kit to that, which that's all I did with it before I lost the kit. Um, so this, I would say, is mostly all I've done. And you can tell there is a pretty stark difference here between the line quality where I started out and then once I got a little bit more confident and accustomed to how it was all working, I think my line quality um, improved some. It's a little, it's a little weird working with the, uh, I don't know, the melon. I couldn't really go over lines because it was getting like squishy and sometimes little bits of juice would come out, but it was really fun. I should probably try a slice. There it is. Um, I have no idea if this is actually ripe or not. Hmm. I forgot that I don't actually like honeydew melon. It's like a watered down version of cantaloupe, which I really don't like, but it somehow tastes better because I put so much work into it, I think. Mm. Mm. And it's good for me, right? Vitamins or antioxidants or fatty acids or omega-3 or something's got to be in here that's good for me right fiber melon juice regardless we can patch it back together and everything's fine my sweet tatted melon I don't know what else can we tattoo Guess people, but that's scary. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.